Here's a quick lesson on how to do trees in watercolour. I'm quite loose ones. I'm using a flat brush. This is a one centimetre flat. I've got a dab of yellow, a dab of blue, and a dab of green, and a dab of dark brown. Just in a palette ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop some water on the paper and get a little bit of the sky in. I'm just going to use a little bit of the blue. And just run that around on the wet paper. I'm going for a fairly flat sky today. Not much cloud in there. Okay, then I'm going to dab into the yellow and into the green at the same time. So sort of half and half. Got a bit of both on there and I can come in at the bottom and just start to dab to create some foliage. I have to keep reloading the brush so I'm going back into the yellow and into the green and so I'm mixing the individual colours on the brush and then onto the paper. So half and half, half into the green, half into the yellow. You can see the variety of tone you get there just by doing that. Get dabs of yellow, dabs of green. Works really nicely. Now you get the softness of the pairing because it's still wet in wet. So now I'm gonna dab into the blue and a little bit of the green. I'm keeping it lower, I'm going to start to create a bit of shadow. Reload the brush again, half, half blue, half green. And pop a bit of shadow down one side of the shrubs or trees I'm going to dab into the yellow again and a bit of the green and then I'm going to come up here and create a higher tree a bit bigger so you can see that I'm twisting as I do this just twisting the brush a little bit get a nice arch Just dabbing back into the green. And get some lovely branches. And then into a little bit of the blue. It really is this simple. Just give my brush a little bit of a rinse. I'm going to come just below, just start to create some grass. So this is just the green and a bit of water. You leave a tiny little bit of a gap it won't blend too much together you can add a little bit of the yellow in if you want you can add a little bit of the blue in for a bit of shadow I'm 
if the light was falling this way and we put the shadow in we'd get the shadow coming onto the field of these trees so we can bring that in with a bit of the blue It's a nice sort of shadow effect. You can just run a damp brush through if you want to create a little bit more of a surface as well. And I'm going to a long thin brush and I'm going to pick up a bit of the dark brown. The sheen's just started to go off on the paper now so I'm hoping if I come in it's still wet enough to soften that I'll get a really nice effect for the tree trunk. So I'm just going to bring in the tree trunk for this tree, this bigger tree. just softening really nicely because it is in the distance we don't want it to be too too hard just want a few branches it's always quite nice as well to have a few that work out at the top if you look at trees there are always a few little wispy ones that come out at the top And then you're just connecting in just into the bottom where that shrub is okay 